turn off Skype, TeamSpeak, and Mumble because there's a new kid on the block. With a Wampus that's so cute, I wish it was real, and I may or may not have thought it was for a while, <laughs> uh, I present to you Discord. Discord's a new VoIP, Voice Over IP program by Hammer and Chisel, and the best part is it's totally free with no ads. Your server's free, your chats are free, everything is free, and it's really good. Discord is specifically made with gamers in mind, and even the loading screens grace you with game references, and its mod design is easy to understand with an interface that gives like a Hadouken to TeamSpeak 95 thing. I mean, get with the times. Like, Windows 95 is not cool anymore, TeamSpeak. Discord's also really reliable, and the worst server outage I ever had was like, it was bad, but it only lasted an hour, and as soon as anything went down, the team were already working on it. It provides super clear audio as well. It's like crystal clear, a bit like TeamSpeak and stuff. Whereas Skype gets worse when you have more players, Discord doesn't. And because it's based around gamers, the application uses a tiny amount of CPU. Like, it's minuscule. Because obviously, how are you going to play your games on ultra settings when Discord's using it all up like Skype does? Discord also provides a really easy to use role system. It uses a hierarchy system, and so you can grant permissions and then anything above that level will automatically inherit them. Then you can like exempt things from them as well. And also as an owner, unless you delete the server, it's actually like I haven't been able to mess it up enough that I can't access anything and that it's broken for me because I've seen a lot of things where people like set up their server wrong and they lock themselves out and it's really bad. Uh, but I can't figure out how to do it. I mean, the worst thing you can do is give someone all of the permissions, and then they can like delete your messages, but then you can just revoke your permissions and ban them and stuff. Plus the ban is an IP ban off the bat. Like that might not necessarily be great, some people might not like that, but like, I think Discord are possibly giving us a way of not doing it like that soon. Discord also provides a bunch of options for YouTubers and streamers. Like, you can link your roles to Twitch or YouTube so your followers or subscribers can get new roles and say, like, get access to a special chat or a special voice chat. And also, another cool thing that you get is a fancy overlay system. There's an overlay that you can get inside games, and you can actually set it to play on any game. I could set it to play on Google Chrome if I wanted to. That's how cool it is. And also, you can rename things if the name of a game also is wrong, which is really good. And because of the overlay, it means that you can change all your voice chat settings, including changing how loud someone is, and also you can move the overlay by the way. And you can do that all without tapping out at any point. Discord also provides a thing called the Stream Kit, which allows you to make cool widgets on the stream, like this chat bar, this voice bar, and this ch chat invite thingy, which just kind of tells you like the status of my stuff really um yeah <laughs> it's cool and here it's time for the quick final sprint thing so here's a few things that like I couldn't really fit in this video if I made it really long I went through all of them though I might go through them now anyway so even connecting this to servers in other countries is too fast like I played on servers in America and all the other places they offer servers and it's really fast, and I've seen people who are Australian, and they still connect, and their ping is actually pretty low. Um, it's actually really hard to max out a server. I think, like, a couple servers have done it, like, the Reddit Pokemon Go server. They broke Discord temporarily, and then Discord just made all the servers bigger. They, were, they doubled the capacity of every server, so it didn't happen again. Also, what I love is, Discord's basically a living meme, and the guys know it. I mean... There were all these people like Zencher and stuff, who are literally nuts, and, I mean, if you want to have proof of this, just look at the last update videos they did. Like, they, play, they had a mini DDR thing of keyboard shortcuts, and you can actually do it 
inside Discord. It's awesome, I'll show you in a sec. Um, servers are actually really easily joinable with an invite link. Um, like you just click on an invite link, Discord opens if you have it on your computer, and boom, it's done. The Discord team is super active as well. They are really active, like you ask for help with anything. Boom, you have Twitter notifications all around the board with them helping you. And also they have a suggestion thing, and they do actually add suggestions. Literally in the time it's taken me to write this review, they added the ability to say if you're online or stuff. Because before it would just say if you're online, say if you're offline if you log off, and say if you're idle by detecting that you haven't interacted with Discord in a certain amount of time. Uh, they have bots, and you can actually make your own bots and host your own bots. You can make bots do literally everything from censoring users and censoring things, all the way down to like a music bot, like I have on my server. Discord also have like really cool programs for people who really enjoy the program. So like they have the hype squad, which is basically you can get free tickets to places. Uh, if you go around and promote Discord for them. And then they have the partnership program where you get perks for being extra awesome on your YouTube channel and stuff. Um, now with... And also, guys, even with the help of friends, like, we actually struggled to find cons. Had to ask some people on Twitter to get anything. And here is the list. Her mobile app is very laggy compared to the PC version. Mind you, if you're like a gamer, I doubt you'd be using this unless you're, say, on consoles. And the mobile app notifications can get kind of spammy if someone messages you, like, I find all my devices go off, even if I'm reading it on one of them. And also, Discord does a, does a new notification for every message you get, unless you turn it off so you only get mentions and stuff, which I don't really like doing. The other thing that I had was about the auto-completing of text when you like type in a mention which is basically you tag a player in your comment and then they get a notification and like actually Discord added that in the time it took me to make this video. <laughs> um, the only other things that they're missing at the moment are things like screen sharing and webcams which Discord have said is in the works and they actually have an internal design already. They're just working on a few kinks before they release it to the public, which is awesome. Overall, Discord is a fantastic software to download and run on devices. I mean, on PCs, laptops, mobile devices like Android and iPhone and Nokia. The only slight bugbear I have with Discord is that it's slightly less responsive on mobile devices, tablets and phones. Server outings last slightly longer on mobile devices sometimes. It's a bit weird how that happens. But Discord works great on all devices, and I would definitely recommend it to people. My final Discord rating is... Blurple. So Blurple is like Discord's main colour. And I know it may not be on my colour rating scale that I explained in the first episode, but I mean... Look at this wampus. Look at it. See, it's cute enough. Excuse me. Excuse me because of the wampus. Blurple. Okay guys, thank you for watching that. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any input about Discord, please dump it down in the comment section below or on my Discord server, which I have up inside. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you like reviews, then please do hit that like button and I will do more reviews in the future. If you, as I said, if you have any input, let me know. And also, if you have any suggestions for the channel, there is a Discord channel on my server just for that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.